Hi, I'm Willie, and thanks for coming back to my channel. Uh, ahead of time, I just want to cut this off and let you know that uh, I'm I'm a little under the weather. I'm not going to try to have any crazy ticks or anything. Uh, somebody commented on a video that I made right after I got out of the hospital last year. Uh, somebody came at me pretty hard and uh, asked me if I <laughs> had some sort of problems and stuff. I deleted the the comment because I thought it was unnecessary and wasn't related to the mission of the channel but I just want to let you know that I am a little a little coarse here so I'm gonna to try to speak loud into the uh, the microphone you can't see it but it, it's right off camera here uh, so tonight <clears throat> what we're gonna talk about is cloud key dot six dot two firmware has been released and unify five dot four dot fourteen has been released so we're going to walk through upgrading that on our cloud key and then we're going to um, take a look at some of the enhancements. So let's get to it. All right, here's our cloud key. Remember, we installed our SSL certificate, so we're all green padlocks and, and unicorn horns and all that good stuff up there. So we're going to go ahead and log in. We're going to go to settings. And we are going to go to maintenance. <clears throat> and under maintenance, you can see that there is an update available for the cloud key. And there is also an update available for uh, the Unify software. We're currently on 5.4.11, and this is 5.4.14. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to apply the cloud key firmware update and we know that we have a backup so we will actually just to be safe just to be safe we'll go ahead and download a backup there's our backup we're going to go ahead and apply the update and confirm it <clears throat> and it is going to update it's going to take a, a few minutes to do this so while we're waiting for that let's hop over to the official announcement from the unify update blog and uh, they have, you know, some things up here, how to play it safe, make sure you've got a backup, um, are you using Unify 4.8.x or Beta Alpha, uh, they talk about how to, you know, how to do that upgrade. Uh, it says, notes, all customizations are remo removed on firmware upgrade. This would include the Unify Voice over IP controller if you have it installed. Please make sure to back up your Voice over IP controller configuration and any other customizations prior to firmware upgrade. So we're going to see if this is going to blow out our SSL certificate. We'll know after it after it does its thing. I don't know if it will or not. <coughs> but that is a customization unless they build that into the Unify software, I would consider that a customization, but I could be wrong. We'll see what happens. And uh, just hopping back over there, it looks like it is downloading. So if it does blow out the SSL certificate, we will just go through the steps of you know reinstalling that. Okay, so what are the changes in .6.2? They bundled the Unify controller 5.4.14 they did more security improvements they fixed an issue with controller shortcut displaying on local management page and how to update the latest firmware so this is the method that we're doing or you can also go in and run some of those ubnt sys tools and do that and then you can actually manually download it uh, here so and always make sure that you're running your checksums just to verify that is the file that Ubiquity released. It's checking. So while we're checking, let's go over to 5.4.14. That may be what you're most interested in. Always have a backup. Um, this talks about people upgrading from 3. Your Java notes if you're on Windows. And Java, Java. Uh, the same VLAN warning that's been there for a while. The same smart QS warning. DFS warnings. Uh, let's see. Other notes. They're no longer supporting Java. Version 6 needs to be 7 or later. They recommend 8. Uh, 
All APs will be reprovisioned on controller upgrade, which will cause a temporary outage for all connected users. Um, they're still talking about, you know, they've got some of those things tucked away in advanced features. Looks like our cloud key is restarting. Um, let's see. You got to have a Google uh, API key for the map. And do not choose the skip, skip option or running the migrate site wizard. If you do, your devices may end up in a weird state. Whatever weird state means. Um, could be uh, Texas, right? Or what, what state is it? Is there Austin? Keep Austin weird. Could be Texas maybe. But uh, more than likely, some of the things that I've seen are reboot loops. And nobody likes reboot loops. Speaking of that, I have a production controller that has about 24 sites on it. Um, dozens of devices, uh, USGs, switches, different types of access points, and I'm uh, also doing a lot of site-to-site -site VPN. I will be upgrading that in about um, about an hour. And what I will do, it is a it is a uh, it is an Ubuntu-based controller that uh, I built myself. But I will um, actually go in. I will download the package manually. I will do you know a backup, but before I upgrade anything, I will break the site-to-site -site VPNs. I will delete those off of every site because I've I've seen and actually firsthand, you know, witnessed that uh, for some reason sometimes your USGs will get into this reboot loop. I don't know if they fixed it or not, but a lot of these sites are not close to me or not open when I'm doing the upgrade, but will be open before the rooster crows and I'm not taking any chances. So I will break those VPNs. I will run the upgrade. After all the firmware has been upgraded on everything, I will then reinstate the VPNs. I've had success the last three upgrades with that method, so that's what I'm going to stick with. Looks like we're still restarting. Yeah, we're still blinking white. Uh, so important notes. If visiting the local management place of the cloud key, um, it's IP host name. It will look like the controller is not installed. This is a known issue. Uh, they actually fixed this in uh, the, the cloud key firmware uh, 6.2, which is what we're installing now. So this is actually kind of moot. This uh, came out when things were in beta. So if anybody from Ubiquity is watching this, you could probably update this note here because uh, 6.2 two appears to be yeah it's stable release so uh, new features for this controller WLAN broadcast multicast blocking they have some bug fixes uh, fix discovering devices on Windows wizard allow falling back to the first country available when the US is not on the list uh, fix showing upgrade without notice Pre prevent transition superseded error they added a training button for demo.ubnt.com improve email templates, fix bug with WebSocket not closing properly on site switch, um, which apparently is causing devices lift, listed in the incorrect site, improved header icon design, fix issue with controller causing too many uh, redirects. Uh, I've seen this in the live. I've seen this uh, live. I've seen it on uh, one person at a motel that we've got installed. Um, I've only seen it once. So if you've seen it, let me know down in the comments. Um, various security improvements. And then there is new firmware available. This is for the USG. There's uh, probably some switch. Um, the UAP uh, firmware 3.7.51 and switch has been pushed. And then this uh, USG. So there was a security update, and they fixed several other things. I don't see anything. I don't, hmm. Anyway, we'll just have to see what it looks like here. So it looks like we're rebooted. And check this out. Uh, it automatically, when we did the, uh, <laughs> when we did the cloud key upgrade, it automatically went ahead and upgraded our Unify to 5.4.14. So it just did both of those. We didn't have to do them. 
Uh, so we could have stayed on the old firmware and manually done that, which may have not have been a bad thing. Um, so if you're watching this um, and you don't want to upgrade your cloud key firmware, which when there are security updates available, you should always update those unless Ubiquity tells you not to. Um, but we could have uh, pushed that Unify update before we did that. But look at this. Our cloud key uh, SSL certificate did not get blown out. Let's uh, we'll hold shift and click refresh just to make sure that that's not... Uh, that's looking pretty good. So let's just take a quick look here and see if we can see anything that's super duper noticeable here. We do have this uh, USG upgrade. Um, and we will go ahead and do that real quick. Let's see if there's any. There's our LAN. Lab USG, WAN, static IP, can still only have one IP using the GUI. Um, would love for, for that option to be exposed where we can have those multiple IPs. Let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. So he's going to upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Um, we were over here. I, uh, so, yeah, the, the new version is for the USG and the USG Pro, which I do have a USG Pro, so that is coming soon. Um, I'm actually going to be running that and an edge router infinity at the, uh, the head of my network. So, let's see what else. Yeah, make sure you're doing your updates. Keep things up to date. You know, sometimes security things come out, and a lot of times they're overhyped. Um, security is always a concern, so don't think that what I just said doesn't mean the security is not a concern, but you have to evaluate the risk and the level the level of risk. And some people default to chicken little, the sky is falling. Um, and some people default to, eh, what's a security update? And uh, you have to evaluate these things and the impact and things like that. But when Ubiquity uh, gives you a security update, unless there's a huge compelling reason to not do that, whether it's firmware or whether it is uh, who knows what. But if you have a compelling enough reason to put it in writing so that if you're ever called to the carpet on why didn't you install these security updates, you've got it there. So, all right. So, looks like our USG is still upgrading. So, let's take a look in the settings and see what, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this weather. Um, what has changed? I don't see anything here. Um, we haven't gotten into this yet. That's, that's coming. Uh, wireless networks. Networks. Is there anything new here? Site side remote user. Let's see. Doesn't look like anything crazy new here. Guest control stuff. Still there. Profiles. And we're going to go over this. This is coming very, very soon. People have been asking for this, so it is coming. Uh, we can do our admins. And uh, I was thinking that in this, it uh, used to be that only a super admin could uh, adopt devices, which is, in a corporate environment, a huge problem to be having to share uh, usernames and passwords, whatever you're doing out there, that's on you. But I'm telling you, I do not share usernames and passwords willingly. Um, and so when I send somebody to do something and they're like, they have to call me and I have to adopt it. And uh, that was talked about several months ago. I, I think that has been addressed, but I will know uh, after I go live with this other site. We got our DPI controller stuff still looks good cloud access so there's just a few of those 
of those things for now. You should, uh, like I said, you should likely upgrade as long as there hasn't been a compelling reason. Um, we have seen, you know, uh, Ubiquity pull updates previously. But I know that uh, 5.4.12 existed before 5.4.14. Um, and unless Ubiquity makes a huge rush decision to pull this, um, I'm saying, you know, I would upgrade. Unless you go to upgrade and they pulled it, then there's a problem. But um, I'm not thinking that that's going to be the case. Yeah, everything, you know, it's still looking pretty good. So... Um, what else? Events. Lab USG. That's all good. So I think that's, uh, I think that's going to do it for now. Uh, we are going to get into, uh, there's some configuration videos that everyone has been blowing up the comments with. Um, so we are going to get back to our VPN videos. Um, we're continuing our knowledge nuggets on Friday and our security Saturday. And this Saturday, I will get to show you my new travel bag. I'm very excited about that. But uh, we will do some more uh, technical configuration. But uh, this came out, and I wanted to get this in front of you. And, you know, make sure you got a backup, do that upgrade. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. If you want to be notified when I release a new video, click the little bell that's running around down there somewhere. Uh, you know, please use my affiliate links, and uh, we will see you in the next video.